Hey, it's Sage, and I'm down here in the greenhouse today to show you a cool little hack for uh, slow watering drip irrigation for pots and stuff like that. I always hate it when you get a pot, and either because the soil's too dry or the, the pot's too full, you pour water into it, and all it does is splash out, takes the soil with it, makes a big mess. So I came up with this uh, way to slow water and thoroughly water the, the pot itself. Today I'm going to use this aloe right here. It hasn't been watered in about two months, so you can see that the, the pot is super dry. And all we need for this is an old plastic water bottle with a cap, a finish nail, and a hammer. What we're going to do is we're going to take the cap. Thanks, Dick. That's Dick the Rooster. And we're going to take the cap, flip it over here. There we go. And we're going to set the nail. You know what? Let's move in close so you can see this. Here we go. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the nail, and on one side of the cap, pop a hole. Boom. Got that. Take it out. Spin it around. And on the other side of the cap, pop another hole. And that's it. And then we just want to make sure that the hole's clear of any little plastic pieces. You don't want the holes too big because water will come out too fast, but you don't want the holes too small either because they'll clog with potting soil. So when you're done, what you should have is a couple holes in your cap about this size right here. So that looks pretty good. Okay, that's it. Now what we do is uh, we get the water bottle and our handy dandy tackles tough grease but just holds water container and we fill up our bottle with water you only need to fill it up with as much as the pot you think the pot's going to handle i'm just going to fill this one up all the way because it's easy and there we go and move that out of the way and then put the cap on and once we've got the cap on now what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over into the pot and one hole is going to let water out and one hole is going to let water or air in and so as you can see here we got it flipped over and just leaning up against the aloe uh, you can see a little bit of potting soil gets sucked up as, as water drips out. That's okay as long as it doesn't block the holes. And you wait long enough and every so often you see bloop, an air bubble. Now for plants in pots that are too small to support the water bottle, you can take a coat hanger and fashion a stand like I've got this one with this gasteria right here. It works perfectly. At one other place that these are really good uh, for watering is in plants that are too hard to reach. I've got this uh, succulent up here that I can't get to with a hose. It just splashes soil out. So what I do is I just flip over a bottle in it, uh, and boom, waters this plant perfectly every time. Anyway, cool little garden hack. Check it out. All it takes is a plastic water bottle in about two seconds. I think you'll like it, and you'll probably use it a lot. Me? I'm going to go find a rooster and have some words with it. guy with a poultry problem out. Like and subscribe by clicking on a chicken now. One of these. Maybe a duck.